Just a couple of things, you know, you can go to ccfv.life and learn about what's going on uh, in the church. Uh, Bible studies have started back up. Um, but if you have a particular need, you can always um, email us or you can text us. Um, we'll pray over you when you text us. The word pray at 41, no, 951-419-5396. I transposed those numbers the other day. Um, but we want to be in, in um, support of you guys, and we do that through prayer. Uh, so let us pray for you. Also, um, just want to remind you there are some one-year Bibles out there. If you're not in the Word of God every single day, um, pick one of those up that gets you there. Because without standing on the foundation of this world, who is Jesus Christ, you're going to struggle. You're going to uh, hit times where, there, where you wonder what in the world has just hit me. God is still in control, and nothing that's going on right now took him by surprise. We say that often, but we need to be reminded of it. Um, Bible studies, like we said, are, are um, going on. Um, Pastor Rick is going to start a new study in the book of Jonah here in the near future. Two weeks. Two weeks from now on Tuesday, so you can be a part of that. Um, this is a week that you should be in prayer for the United States government. There's a transition going on, and with that transition, um, a lot of things are on our plate, right? Um, in, uh, uh, Israel uh, is part of that uh, because we don't know what's going to happen there. So pray for our transition. Pray for, that God will show us what he wants us individually to do. Pray for Israel. And um, just want to share um, about Indonesia here for a second. Pastor Brandon, who we have ordained from this body, um, is up in uh, the village in northern Bali um, providing some support for a young man by the name of Johannes. Johannes um, came through our um, program at uh, STL. We helped him get his bachelor's degree. We helped him get his master's degree. And now he's a uh, ordained pastor in the Bali denomination. And not only that, they're looking to him um, in, in, a, in a special way as an elder and, you know, in the whole denomination. That's the fruit of what we do when we tithe. And I'm not talking about tithe now, but we touch lives around the world. What a blessing that it is. That even though you've never met Johannes, he considers Deb and I his family, his parents. We gave him away at his wedding. Um, it, it's something special that you can have an impact on those people. Amen? Well, let's pray. Uh, remember to pray this week in depth. The United States needs Christians' prayers. Amen? Let's pray. Father, we love you. We thank you. We give you glory because you alone are worthy. We pray, Father, for this body that you would help us to be prayer warriors and to be protected from what's coming, Father. And we don't even know what that is, but we know that we can trust you. We pray, Father, for this transition of our government, that you would be in control of it. And that if things go a different direction than we think, help us to understand that we can trust you and that you raise up leaders and you take down leaders. And so, Lord, we just ask for your presence to be felt in Washington, D.C. and throughout this nation. We pray for calm. We pray that your people, Lord, would be uh, prayer warriors to ask your touch upon this country. We pray for Israel, Father, as a new election looms and um, the, the, the attacks that have happened in Syria. Lord, I just pray that you would guide and direct your chosen people. Lord, bless this church to truly have an impact on this community. We love you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen.